Yeah, we're at uh, Fort White Nature Center and uh, we're going through here and uh, on the trails. They have uh, quite a few hiking trails in here and uh, a lot of wildlife, a lot of deer. They have actually buffalo. They have a buffalo impoundment. So it's kind of cool. It's an interpretive center. Uh, we have, uh, I guess, a lot of kids come through here during the, uh, the school year, but it's, uh, it's quite nice. Uh, a lot of bird life. Uh, we have uh, during the, uh, the spring, uh, we have the Canada geese coming back, a lot of ducks, uh, wood ducks, and any other type of duck you can imagine. And uh, so it's kind of cool that way. Yeah. And we have the chickies over there making a, a ruckus. Yeah. There's a target over there. I guess that's uh, for bow and arrow practice or. some kind of interpretive walkway through this uh, wetlands. Inside the teepee. Yeah. And uh, it's That's looking where the up. smoke goes up. Yeah. This is where the fire goes. We need a fire. Then the buffalo skins all around. Yeah. I don't know if that's buffalo skins though. No, but kind they are. Uh, canvas at this point. Yeah. What's that? Pretty? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, there's a deer. Hi, baby. Probably used to not uh, being uh, harassed too much at the feet. Oh, there's more in there. <clears throat> and these are the common birds of Fort White. So we got morning doves, gray catbird, brown headed cowbird, American robin. Mer Cute little things, eh?
Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, that's uh there's a door in it. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's uh you can stay in here and then you can uh view the wildlife. You can uh and a sneak up on him. That's right. So there's a lower level here for the little kitties and uh, for the adults up here. They can view the wildlife as well. Not neat. See, they have these segmented areas for. Probably nesting pairs of uh, Canada geese because they get pretty uh, territorial. And they'll be back, uh, well, it's March, uh, April. Yeah, I guess in April they'll start coming back, coming north. Uh, if you can see the nesting box out there, but I think those are for actually wood ducks. There's a uh, window. So in Manitoba, the land is so flat, they gotta make uh, toboggan slides, which is probably not a problem anywhere else. Yeah. Guys, Yes, we'll do that. But uh, this is a sod hut made from sod. It's what uh, the pioneers, when they first came out on the prairies, they would create these uh, huts made oh, of sod. sod right? Yeah. Sod. Yeah. Thinking sod sod. Yeah. <laughs> So it's temporarily closed to the public, but yeah, I've actually been inside. It's got a sod roof as well. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah, there's the wood pile. These straws are trunk, tree trunks. Yeah. Now that's li living pretty primitive. Yeah. Oh, there's a family of early settlers. So we're gonna go view some bison. So we're gonna go up here and uh, hopefully see some bison in the distance. see any but uh, I suppose they're in this open field over here so I'm gonna go take a closer look so there's the picture and there's the bison I count uh, 31 bison altogether out there. 
can't see anymore. So that's about it. I guess that would be classified as a small herd. Some uh, woodpecker damage. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this area, but everyone wants to uh, build a teepee. Yeah, I get a lot of these around my house, which is, uh, I don't know, approximately 10 miles away. So this is the Saturn family tree house. I guess they uh, donated to have it built. So we're gonna go up there and we're gonna view the uh, bison. Step down. That's something. Oh, and they got uh, some corral here. I guess uh, what they're demonstrating is the way the uh, North American Indians used to corral them in using these uh, little clusters of. Uh, timbers and they would funnel them in into the, these corrals and then they would begin to uh, uh, slaughter them. That's kind of cool and you can see they're out there in the distance. I guess he knows I don't have anything. So today, we started here. We went in here into these trails. And then we came back down past the interpretive center and uh, went out here to the lookout. There were bison here, which we saw. We saw them from this uh, tree house. And then here to about right there there's a big kind of hill there so and then I came back it's a very nice nice trail what do you think sure. but um, I think especially in the fall or in the spring when the geese come and they you can watch them the spring spring and fall yeah, because the yeah. geese come in and then they ascend. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's and in the fall especially when they ascend into the when they start congregating. Okay. And the leaves are on the trees and and um, it's more you know more bushy and whatever because yeah. right now you can it's it's a little sparse and you can hear the traffic noise from the yeah highway. we saw some deer today. Yeah, and, that was uh, beautiful. Lots of birds, chickadees mostly. Yeah. And uh, we saw the bison. Saw some uh, woodpeckers. Chicken. And a nuthatch. Saw a nuthatch. Saw some squirrels. Yeah, squirrels. Uh, yeah. People. Yeah, people. Yeah, it was a pretty good uh, trip. Yeah. Anyways, thank you. Yeah, and I bought, uh, I bought a little... Nope. Present at the gift shop for somebody, and my present cubby wall I found a 25%, it was 30% off. What so is it? It's What's just a wallet. wallet, yeah. It's a little wallet for your credit uh, cards and stuff. It's, okay, yeah. cool. We got lots of those credit cards. <laughs> Anyways, okay. <laughs>